Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Eternal Flame Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Bastion Light. For those of you who don't know, this is a choose your own adventure starfighter game. No, this doesn't mean you get to fly your ship around like some playing simulator. However, it does mean that we will be able to customize a ship, fight against a rebel scum, and literally try to uphold our country's great name. As well as meet aliens and yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So let's go ahead and without further ado get started. So I've played this game before. I haven't played in uh, quite a while and uh, it kind of leaves me in an interesting position because there is an advanced edition which if you know I've already enabled but I have not played yet. So we're gonna have this adventure together. I haven't unlocked very many ships. I was decent at the first one, but not the greatest. So, let's see. First off, we need Captain Blades at our helm. The Try at our uh, lovely weapons units. And for our strong, independent woman, Jesse. And the irony is, no, you do not know which Jesse I'm talking about, but yes, they all have high-pitched voices when they want to. So let's see. What do we want to name our ship? We want to name it... Well, normally I'd say the Eternal Flames, but I'd rather that not go up in smoke. So, let's see. Let's name it... Darkness... A rise. No. <laughs> I'm not going to put grade on. They deserve more respect than that. By more respect, I mean we're hoping like all hell that they're not going to go up in smoke. So let's see. I believe I've got everybody at the right positions. Um, doesn't help that Try and Blaze look the same. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. They'll be swapping out positions anyways. So... Let's see what trouble we can stir up in the galaxy far, far away. Let's start. The day you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving to the next. But get to the exit before pursuing rebel fleets can catch up. Tips, upgrades, don't forget to upgrade your ship. Often shields are the highest priority, but don't underestimate the usefulness of subsystems. That is too fucking true. Okay, let's see. You are Try. Okay, Try is on our weapons. Sweet. So let's see. Save your current crew positions. Huh. I didn't know you could do that now. And let's see. Recurrent crew. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Okay, that, that should have been in there from the beginning. Sweet. So let's see. We got a... We're just going to activate these things now. Get those things ready to go. Ah, <sighs> crap. Okay, well, here's hoping for the best. <laughs> also, sorry if I sound a bit sniffly. It's beginning to become allergy season out here. You attack the rebel scouts on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they are not firing yet. Let's defend the outpost. We need, uh, we need some friends. So let's see, we'll take out their shields and take out their drones. And stick on auto fire. Okay, now if we take out their weapons, they'll either be destroyed or we'll at least be in a better situation than we are now. Yeah, there we go. And that is how the spaceship do. Let's see. The outpost hails you. Prompt <laughs> Those pompous passengers expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. Huh. Okay. Let's see. We'll get try on repairs real quick. And, um... Because let's face it, you never know when we're going to need that med bay. <coughs> okay, med bay is almost up. And 
enter. Boom. Oh, it actually gives a little thing showing like how they've gotten better at shit. Awesome. You know what? Let's move Jesse to shields. Because, uh. In my experience, shields, you definitely want someone there to constantly bring those things back up. So, let's see. Where are we going next? Let's see. There's a store. Uh, sure, why not? Let's see what the store's got. Alrighty then, let's see. Space Station, Traveling Merchants. Oh, wow. Uh, they got some interesting crewmates. Shame we can't get any of them. Let's see. Advanced Faster Than Light Navigation. Jump to any previous visit beacon. Huh. Emergency Respirators. That's actually pretty damn help. I can buy none of this. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, whatever. Okay, so let's do this. Here's a pro tip for the future, kids. Buy fuel. Buy lots and lots of fuel. Okay. Oh, great, a star. And a s pirate ship? And I want to say pirate select ship, but I couldn't tell you. Okay, so let's take out their shields, and that will, uh, promptly fuck them. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez, that's the shrapnel thing. That was just recently added in. Okay, well, hit the mad bay. We don't need the mad bay at the moment. Okay, let's fire at their weapons, and go from there. Ah, oh, jeez, solar flare, solar flare. Don't like solar flares. Okay, put out the fire, put out the fire, put out the fire. And there they go. Got a missile, we got some drone parts, and got a bit of scrap. Okay. Go to med bay, fix that up. Actually, let's let Tri fix it up. That way he can um, get better at his job. One second thought, let's jump right now and uh, save ourselves some magic. Destroy speaking! It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of the nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Ah, a single life form, I think we can take it, it falls, fails. The man leaves Van Luna Cave. From the appearance of his wreck ship, it seems he's been here for years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Um. Hmm. Honestly, I say we take the risk. Why not? It's early enough in the game. And he killed Blaze. Well, you bastard. Well, I guess now it's Captain Try. <laughs> ah, such is life. Balls. <laughs> Let's see. Let's, um... <laughs> Let's see what we can bolster here. Let's bolster power first, because power definitely seems to always be an issue. Okay, looks like everybody's healthy. Is she full health? Never tell. Yet yeah, full health. All right. Oh, this just goes to show: don't let strange people onto your ship. You never know what will happen. All right. The captain of this ship claims he provides services as long as you can have this crap. Hire mercenary, hire mercenary, fight the ship. It's a pirate ship, I don't trust pirates. Fight the ship. Actually, let's go straight for their weapons. We, we can not take too many hits. There we go. 
take out their shields. Giving us stuff to leave them alone. Let's do it. Alrighty then. So, repairing shields again. Looks like Jess took a bit of a hit on that one. So, we'll get everything back up to the best speed we can. Heal Jess up, because you never know what will come next. And let's get the balls out of here. Let's take a, let's take a detour. We need to find more. Nebulous. Hey, nebulous. And we got a damn drone. Even better. Oh, come on. Oh, is there any? Yeah, that's what I thought. Shh. Weapons are on fire, aren't they? Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? Okay, well, at least we beat the drone, so... You know what? Here's an idea. Let's suffocate the fire. There we go. Let's see. Still danger of fire. I think we're good. Alright, let's close these bad boys up and let the oxygen build up just a little bit again. There we go. Now we get these guys in here and we'll repair it on up. See, this is why electricity is important too, because had my electricity been a bit better, we probably could have had more systems running at any given time. to shields and we go right back to the head of the ship. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, we need to power the engines at least a little bit. So, this is what I get for exploring. But it's faster than light. If we don't explore, we don't get nice stuff and then we get wrecked later. Bend in space station circles long. Quickly check yields and max for a drone. You bring it aboard your ship. Ooh, that's awesome. Got some scrap. Got a drone. That sounds awesome. Okay, let's pump up the ship's uh, defenses all over again, and let's start working on those shields. There we go. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, and jump! Come on, come on, come on, something nice, something nice. You receive a request. All of our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the rebellion. However, there have been reports of a Mantis war camp. Only a few jumps from us. Can you help? Uh, sure, why not? Damned if we do, damned if we don't, right? This one's a drone. Can we take them? Oh, 
Okay, you know what? Let's just go for it. Let's see, we wanna... What? And Bloom and Blaze is a hacking drone? Little balls! I guess that makes that kind of useless. There. That's down. Let's, uh... Let's attack your weapons next while we have a chance. There we go. Now this little hacking thing has to go. Come on. And time for the finishing blow. What do we got here? Uh, uh, we'll just take out whatever, I guess. coming from. That's weird. Huh. Well, we got nine scraps, so... Whatever. Let's see, but we did get enough scrap, I think, for... Yep! Another shield. Sweet. So, let's pop that into shields right off the bat. Alrighty, then. So, let's see. Where do we want to go from here? Well... I guess we'll uh, take on that quest real quick. Alright, I guess we gotta jump here first, huh? Alright, let's see what we got. Long range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula. The faster than light drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. So we'll hit this one, and then we'll hit the exit, and get the hell out of here. You find the mantis encampment, but there are far too many of them to count accurately. You send a long-range message back to the settlement with your findings, but unfortunately, there's not much you can do. It would be suicide to attack directly. Yeah, let's bombard them. Let's see, you fire at their fuel depot, but a shot from the surface rips missiles to shreds. They have planetary defense systems set up already. You try to get away, but the nearby patrol ship moves into attack. Okay, let's take out their weapons first, because I really, really don't want to deal with that right now. And we're just going to go balls out on that. Okay, we did some damage. And the missile gets through. Sweet. Next, we want shields. And then we're gonna go straight for O2. And down goes the ship. Let's see, hastily leave. Well, I got my missile back. <laughs> Few scrap. Eh. If nothing else, at least we helped the people by taking out at least one ship. Though, didn't end well for us, I guess. Let's see what we got here. Advanced Rebellion, Auto Ship, Remain Station, Small. Let's see, that's Attack. I just like leaving these little auto ships laying around. And we'll take out the drone. Ah, uh, yeah, bonus shield rock. Okay, now that that's done, we'll take out the shields. We'll turn that off so we can save some missiles. And... There we go. Nice thing about drones is they don't exactly have the ability to repair themselves very well. There we go. Doesn't matter what we hit now. Down she goes. She wasn't that beautiful, but she was a ship. And the ship is now dead. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> oh. 
Alrighty then. Off to the next sector, and just on time. So let's see, civilian sector or rebel controlled? Considering how much trouble we just got done having, I think we're gonna take the safe route. Let's see. And there's a store right off the bat. Can we afford stuff? Probably not. Are we still gonna go? Hell yes. Let's see. Droid control. Clumbe. Oh shit. Screw it. Let's just fix everything and go. There we go. Jump. Alright, come on now. And another one. Might as well. Hey, this one's an easy one. That's pretty much similar weapons to what I've already got. Which kind of sucks because missiles bypass everything. Alrighty then. Take out the engine so she can't leave. Good hit, and down goes this one. Uh, could you guys imagine, like, actually having, like, Moby Dick in this kind of atmosphere? Yay, thanks for the help. You're welcome. But no, seriously, like, imagine, like, this big-ass ship that's just perfectly white and shaped like a whale. That'd be horrifying and immensely awesome. You find a source in the distress call. Small research station. Oh boy. <clears throat> well, I'm probably gonna lose another crew, but uh, well, Doc can try to rescue survivors. We're, we're not gonna help with the fire. Screw the fire. Hey, I got someone named Jones and a bunch of scrap. And Jones is a bit radioactive. He can fly the ship. <laughs> so let's see. We've got that going. So let's. What do we want to put these points now? I should be saving my scrap in there. A lot of people are going, Damn it! You could be spending this in the stores! Well, we're not. We're spending this to actually outfit our damn ship so we can actually do stuff. Let's see, we can upgrade the med bay, give a bonus to healing boost. We can upgrade the oxygen, because, you know, O2. Engines... You know what? Let's actually save it. Let, let's save it for now. We're just gonna see where this goes. We'll go here. I'm trying to take the longest path possible, because otherwise, like... Ah, screw it, fight the ship. If we don't take the longest path possible, I've run into too many occasions where you literally just get bummed over by these jerk offs who, like, just completely overpower you. There we go. Killed their shields at least enough to get at their weapons really well. But, yeah, I mean, there are literally gonna be instances where we can't do jack against them. And it will literally be all because, like, we didn't explore. It's like, uh, Star Trek, you know, boldly go where no man's gone before, except there's no hot alien chicks, or if there is, we can't make the difference because, you know, pixels. Come on, just follow her for me. The enemy is charging up there faster on light drive. Well, we can't have that now, can we? We'll aim straight for the captain. And miss every single shot. Damn it. Well, we couldn't beat him. But we didn't exactly lose much either, so... 
I guess it's not really a loss. Let's see, trade, missiles or drone parts. I don't use drones. Screw you. It's not because I don't want to either. I mean, let's face it, R2-D2, ladies and gentlemen, R2-D2. That'd be awesome. Let's see. Star system, the view is beautiful, but there's nothing else around. Figures. Okay, let's see. We're under a star again. Great. Let's finish this as quickly as possible before we get our faces just torn apart. Deactivate that. Deactivate the drone. And hope like hell that the solar flare doesn't rip me a new one because it will be coming any time now. And there it is. Oh, great. And there it is. Oh, that was not worth it. Put out the fire. Radioactive blaze, go in there. We're just talking about the Joneses. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Oh. Okay, try. Good. Balls. Balls, 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 balls. And O2 is offline. Come on, try. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on, put out the fire. There we go. Screw it, jumping. Oh, come on. I know I'm not paying the toll. Suck the D! I'm going straight after your weapons so that Tri can finish repairing the O2. Okay, Tri, get to med bay. So they got two big ass lasers, both very powerful, both very aggressive, both gonna fuck up my world. Shame I got two sets of shields. Sucks for you. There we go. Okay, take out their shields, and then I'm just gonna go straight for their engines. Yeah, no shields. I got a weapon back online, but it's not gonna matter much here in just a moment. There we go. You go nowhere. Get rid of your weapons again. See, this is much better. Oh, they're trying to charge up their faster and light drive again. If we take out the engine, they ain't gonna be charged up nothing. Come on. Yeah, and down they go. The slugs in sand chains. They're all slippery and slimy and kind of gross. Ship explodes in behind awesome crap. 91 scrap. You know what? We're going to do a bit of an upgrade before we leave. Let's see. What do we want to upgrade? Let's see, there's a super blast door? Where do I get those? Okay. Well, let's upgrade our men bay. And we'll upgrade our power twice. It's always good to have some extra power, right? So we'll pop one there and then pop one into the engine. And now we just need... Well, no, we're actually good. We got enough power even for our extra weapons. Sweetness. Okay, we can make one more jump before the X and still be okay. So let's see what we can do here. And there is nothing. Of course there is nothing. Long range beacon. Receive a wideband message. Freeze command samples. Be sure to visit our new military grade drone store opening in sector XR145. 
And they give us another drone. Okay, this is something I gotta check. Equipment. I basically got two sets of drones, which I have no intention of ever using. Maybe I should start selling these damn things, because seriously, like... I don't even got a drone system on my ship. I can't use them. Okay, let's see. Uncharted Nebula or Mantis Controlled Sector? Shit. I'll take Mantis over Nebula any day. I hate Nebulas. Unless you got a slug, uh, crew member. You've entered a poorly charred area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your whole plating is up to scratch and that you have enough fuel to tank in the tank to make it through. Okay, let's see where we got here. And we're gonna go for broke and keep looping ourselves around. And a Mantis ship right off the bat. Uh, remain concealed. You powered down your unessential systems faster than my drive, but failed no your ship. Yay, we made it out in one piece. This time we actually have to aid civilians. It does not pay to be the good guy. Okay, uh, and... Balls. Okay. Mantis are, like, the perfect fucking fighting machines. So... Okay, get you right back in here. Let's, uh, let's attack their shields. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Two missiles, one. I hate these damn droid parts. Apparently a ship was being assaulted was a science vessel. Huh. And we got a bunch more scrap. See, now we're getting tons of scrap. See? It pays to explore a little bit. And help civilians. Providing the mantis don't beat the living shit out of you. Oh, we can buy fuel. Um... Normally this costs a lot more, so you know what? I'm just gonna grab as much as possible. Screw it. There we go. Now we can definitely do some work. Let's see. Um, advanced med bay. Use your to help synthesize a cure. Let's see. Able to isolate the cause of the virus. Previous unknown spore that was unearthed during the excavation. You are quickly able to inform the colony's leader of the success of reverse engineering a cure. Sweet! So pumping up the med bay was the perfect decision. Go figure. <laughs> if it works, it works. Okay, let's see. Let's upgrade our doors and we'll pump up our power even further. So let's see. So now I've got pretty much uh, super doors. Okay, we don't have any cash left, and I just noticed there's a damn store right there. Great, intruder on board. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? No. Ha, fighting in my med bay is all horrible decision. There we go. And we're just gonna close all doors. There we go. Try goes back on weapons, which speaking of which, how's he looking on that? He's damn good at repairs, he's damn good at fighting, and he's damn good on weapons. What about Jess? How's uh, Jess doing? 
Jess is a master at shields. Sweet. We're gonna need that. For those of you who haven't played this game before, like, the longer you keep people on subsystems, the stronger they get. So with any luck, we're gonna have ourselves, like, a couple of badasses, like, just ready to rock and roll. So let's see. We have Bull Ahmed Scout floating nearby, despite the... Let's see. Don't risk activating it and just strip it. Uh, download. And balls. Okay, we cannot let this thing keep its weapons. Okay, we got plenty of missiles for once. Maybe I should focus down on weapons for now. There we go. And we'll just save, uh... We'll save what we can for missiles. Some of the fights in this are, like, so hectic that you just want to barrage them with missiles because they bypass shields. Damn, I hit it, and it's still, like... Okay, well, let's, I'm not even sure how many shields, uh, points this thing must have had, like five, maybe? There we go. Well, now it doesn't have much of none. Okay, then. Let's see what we got here. Oh. I didn't think those things could repair. Huh. Oh, see, I got more scrap instead of just stripping it. It was worth it. Shame I can't snag this thing right here. I mean, that would've been awesome. So let's see, she took some damage. Let's get her healed up before we take off. And good to go. I guess we'll do this dress beacon, then the store, then the exit. Let's see. You know what? We bought a lot of fuel. Um, civilian ship flies over as soon as you arrive. You prepare to fight, but are informed they're just out of faster than light fuel. Let's just give them the fuel. Upgraded the reactor by one. That is awesome. Oh, did I never repair that? I never repaired that. Huh, I feel dumb now. Alrighty then, let's get those uh, doors up and repaired. Not only that, but try to use the extra repair points. The better you are at repairing, the quicker they can do it, so... Normally, if you're gonna do anything, though, you want an NG doing that. Because NGs are like the badasses of repairs. So, let's see. Um... Guess we're heading to the store. Let's see. Repair arm, defense scrambler. Let's sell some stuff. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that, because I can't use them. So, let's see what we got here. Um, let's see. Ah, balls. No, we could do mind control. We probably need better sensors, honestly, but let's see. Heavy laser. Heavy laser that fires two shots in quick succession, deals two damage, power required three, charge time 13 seconds. Hmm. And whatever, we need more weapons. It's not like we don't have the power for it. Not enough system power. Oh. Huh. Huh. I don't know how I missed that one. I feel kind of stupid now. Okay, so if I drop this, I can put up this. But this fires three shots. 
This fires two shots, but they're stronger. We'll stick with this one for now, and then we'll try and get the other one up and running. So, just something to work for, I guess. So I guess we'll head here, then we'll head towards the exit as soon as possible. Let's see... Escape pod, pride open. And we got a mantis! Awesome. Mantis is great allies, horrible enemies. So let's see. Put you right here. Mantis in the engine room doesn't seem like the greatest idea, but you know what? Don't care. Mantis is a cool as far as allies are concerned. Horrible enemies. Horrible, horrible enemies. Unless you like being fed your own intestines. Let's see. Long range beacon. I do not want droid parts. Next sector, Zoltan. Zoltan's are basically what our little nuclear dude is, Mr. Jones. Let's see, I arrived in Zoltan space, what you heard about. Huh. So if nothing else, we at least... You know, there's a couple of stores. Well, shit. We at least know we'll be somewhat safe. Let's see, they are researching genetic distortion due to static sleep and prolonged faster and light travel. They ask your crew, um, I guess I can participate? Intruder on board. Figures. Okay, let's, uh, take out their weapons. Oh shit, they just took out... Balls. Walls. <laughs> Triple balls. Triple balls. Triple balls. Triple balls. Oh shit. Oh, come on! The med bay? Really? Oh, jeez. I think this is the end of our run. Oh uh, yeah, this is this is the end. Might as well just Well shit. This is what I meant. Um You could lose at any given time. Well anyways, it was a decent run. Honestly it could have gone better, it could have gone worse. If anything, I have to thank you guys for sticking with me through it. Thank you for watching and uh See you next time.